pretty little tweetsy, pretty little tweetsy, how she rolls along with a puff, 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 and a tweet, 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 how she rolls along. Tweetsy has been rolling along as a North Carolina tourist attraction for 23 years. And in those 23 years, the train has mounted a record that few modern-day automobiles can match. It's never missed a trip because of mechanical problems. Changing a tire at Tweetsie is not your routine task. But then there aren't many things that are ordinary about keeping antique trains running. Now, get, get you some extra help to hold it up in there. Hold it up so it won't drop on you. The extraordinary man who's kept Tweetsie on schedule through the years is Frank Coffey. Frank knows every part of both engines. He's taken apart number 12 and number 190 several times and put them back together again. It's heavy, powerful equipment Frank works with. A tribute to his skill is that after 53 years in the railroad business, 30 with Southern Railroad, Frank still has 10 fingers. So way back in 1926, when I went to work for a railroad shop as an apprentice machinist, and I'd been working about three weeks, and I had on an old pair of uh, those old gloves with a big cuff out on the side, and this drill was spinning, and it caught the glove and twisted it up, and that's the only injury I've ever received in 53 years of operating a machine shop and working in a machine shop. That's the only... Uh, Casually, a little had. crooked there, isn't it? It's a little crooked. The bone's a little crooked. Frank has kept the track in shape, inspecting the rails and cross ties, doing things a 68-year-old man isn't supposed to be doing. For example, crawling around the maze of the trestle like a cat, about 50 feet above the ground. I, I've never done anything in my life that I like to do as well. People ask me why I don't retire. Why should I retire? I still do exactly the thing I'm doing now. not only enjoys making these trains run, he enjoys running them as well, especially old number 12, the train he calls his pride and joy. Frank pampers number 12 like a baby, dispensing oil in liberal doses. He figures he's made more than 14,000 trips around that three-mile track, and after all that time, Frank says every run is different. We made the mistake of asking Frank if he enjoys driving this locomotive. Let me tell you, you don't drive a locomotive. Uh, as I told my boss one time, we were sitting around one evening after a busy day, and he kept telling me about driving the locomotive. And I said, look, Grover, you don't, you don't drive a locomotive. You drive a confounded mule. You run a locomotive. There probably will be someone else running Tweetsie long after Frank Coffey is gone. That is a tribute to him. Pretty little Tweetsie, pretty little Tweetsie, how she rolls along with a puff, 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 and a tweet, 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 how she rolls along. Ken Udy with the Carolina Camera, near Blowing Rock.